Okay, hi. So I have a new camera. So if this video is a little weird on audio, if it's a little weird on the way that I look, please be mindful of that. I'm trying something new. I'm trying this camera to see really what the T is, honestly, because I wanna make sure that I'm giving you guys the best quality when it comes to my videos. But hi, how are you? That's not what you asked for. You didn't ask for an update on my camera. You wanna know which doll to ask for this holiday season and me being the doll studio by Chris. I'm gonna give you guys my honest thoughts and opinions after having both of these dolls in my collection and I definitely want to give you guys my own opinions on which doll you should get for this upcoming holiday season. So we are around the time of the holiday Halloween season. I know that Halloween is fast approaching. It's literally like the week after next week. However, then comes November, which means the holiday season is starting. And I don't know about you, but I like to give my family two months notice before Christmas on the things that I want for the holiday season. And I want to make sure that I got my views and opinions out there for you guys to hear about which doll you should be asking for this holiday season. Now, there's not going to be really a direct answer. This is not that kind of video. However, I do want to steer you guys and be made aware of certain things whenever you are going to go online and decide which American Girl doll is best for you and your collection. I wish that I could just look at all of you guys right now and say, hey, just get both of them. But I can't do that because realistically, that's just like not something that I would ever say just do. For the holiday season, I usually buy myself something. I set aside some money and then I usually ask my parents for, you know, whatever I'm looking for during the holiday season. But realistically, I want to give you guys some thoughts and opinions on which doll you guys should get because there are two girl of the years right now that are fighting head to head to see who is going to be the big winner of the holiday season. Unfortunately, I do feel with the way American Girl is already marketing Lila that Lila will inevitably end up being the, the, the big hit this holiday season when it comes to who people are going to pick. However, there are some things that may shy you away from getting her this holiday season if you're planning on getting a gift for someone else, or if you yourself are planning on getting her, I just want you to be mindful of a couple of things before you immediately go in and buy Lila. But there are also some things that I do want to pinpoint about Miss Kavi Sharma because I do have both of these dolls in my collection. And Kavi, although she is a great doll, she also has her flaws as well. So without further ado, let's get started. I got Miss Kavi. I have both dolls here, by the way. I got Miss Kavi last year when she first released on release day. As soon as you were able to buy her, I got her in my hands immediately. I went to the American Girl store in New York. I got her, I'm pretty sure it was her release party back when they used to actually do release parties when the Barry members were the first people to get the dolls. And and they didn't advertise it as that and then make that not true. But I did get Kavi that day. I got two Kavi dolls, one at the restaurant when I opened her up. And then I did also purchase a second one so that way I can have one that I can rough up and do hairstyles on. And then I have another one at home that I have that I have for display purposes that I want in pristine condition. Whereas this one, she really is just here to have a good time. She's here for a good time, not a long time. If she gets a scuff mark, if she gets like dirty in any way, shape or form, if she falls, I'm not really like out here crying about it. She really Really does have sentimental value to me because I actually am like playing with her if you will like I'm taking her places I'm not afraid of her falling I play with her hair like it's very much like I love this doll but anyway that's besides the point with Kavi I want to go over her her collection very briefly to talk about the hits and misses after having spent a lot of time with her as a girl of the year so first and foremost let's talk about the characteristics of the doll the doll is a Mary Grace mold with tan skin and black hair look at your collection and let me know whether or not you have that in your collection Okay, so that should already be like a defining factor for you because if you don't have a Mary Grace mold, if you don't like Mary Grace herself or any of the Truly Me dolls, this doll is already a great option. She is a Girl of the Year doll, so she has her own special outfit. I do find her characteristics to really set her apart from the other Girl of the Years. The black hair with the little like ponytail thing is a very cute touch that American Girl did. She has the painted on eyelashes, brown eyes, and she does have the Mary Grace mold like tan skin. And I love this combination, okay? When it comes to to how you can dress this doll. This is a doll that you can really put in anything and she won't look weird in anything because she just has the characteristics to really make anything work, if I'm being completely honest. I do find her to work with brighter colors, but she also does work with darker colors. And if you want to modernize her more, she can look like an older doll very quickly. So if you want her to get out of this American Girl element and her be a character in your own little family, by all means, you can easily do that 
that with her. The meat outfit she comes with is okay. You definitely can use the pants and shoes for other things. I use the shoes all the time because I'm constantly looking for like cute little like knockoff converses and those shoes are perfect to be able to utilize for other outfits. The pants, same thing. You can just put her in like a little crop top and use those pants. The shirt's the hard part about her. It would be a little bit of a challenge to pair that with other things. You can, but it is a little bit of a challenge. So her meat outfit is really worth it. Moving on to Homegirl's book. Okay, I read her book and I'm not mad at it. Same thing with Lila, I'm gonna spoil it for you guys. I liked it better when these dolls had their full on stories. So I do have Kavi's book ready to go for me to start reading. But when I read her journal, I was just like, this is great. She does musical theater. If you're into the musical theater thing, then by all means, grab this doll because that is literally her entire element. I think she's great. If you're looking for a beginner American Girl doll between the two, I would definitely pick Kavi. Her hair is straight. So if you were to do braids, if you were to do twists, if you were to do anything that lasts longer than a day in her hair, it will not damage her hair because all you're gonna need is a little bit of water, dunk her head in some water, let it out to dry, and trust me, it will be perfectly fine. I have had this hairstyle in her hair for about a week now, and these are very, very tight in her hair, but I know that the second that I take this out, it will not be detrimental to her hair whatsoever. So if you're looking for an American Girl doll that you can really like play with her hair and not be worried about the consequences, this is definitely the doll that you're gonna to wanna to go for it because the straight hair really does help her. And it is at a length that it's long, but it's not obnoxiously long like a Maritza. It's not obnoxiously long, like straight all the way down to her ankles. It is a very nice length that you can do a lot of it with and you can take it to the American Girl Doll Hair Salon without any worry. Now, if you are someone that specifically wants to get a Girl of the Year doll to be able to get their entire collection, between the two, I would definitely gravitate more towards Kavi, mostly because of the fact that Kavi's entire collection is very well thought out. In my personal opinion, I I think it really does showcase her as a character and I do think that a lot of her items are very cute and go above and beyond what American Girl has produced and after sitting with it for a couple of months ever since she's been released I do find her big ticket item to be worth it I definitely probably will be asking for that for this holiday season just to get the stage just to have it I do find a lot of her outfits to be things that I want to get I have some of her outfits if you guys can see all the way back there I do have some of her outfits so I am really happy with her collection overall those are all the hits and misses for her she's a very unique doll Doll, especially in the girl of the year line she is basically like a, Mar a contemporary Marisol doll so if you vibe with Marisol and missed out on her but you still want the same aesthetic as Marisol I definitely would say go ahead and get Miss Kavi Sharma now here is my Lila. This is my display Lila. She will be the one that is gonna go over there at my parents' house where all my other dolls are displayed. First and foremost, this doll is stunning. I'm not gonna lie to you guys whatsoever. I think that she is great. However, there are a few things that I would like for you guys to pinpoint before going ahead and clicking purchase on this doll. Number one, there are a lot of defected Josefina molds. If you're looking to purchase this doll, you may or may not be going through a trial and tribulation when it comes to finding a doll that is perfect in regards to symmetrical eyes, not having like any eyes that are looking in opposite directions, uneven eyes, all of that. With the Josefina mold, it is the most common doll to have the most defects. So for me, I went through, I'm not even joking, most of the New York store's inventory to find the dolls that I have in my collection. And on top of that, I did post on my Instagram about a Lila that I had received that had a really, really bad wig. It was thin in the back, and then it also did not have a great curl pattern. So if you're looking for a great Great version of Lila, it may not come to you because of the fact that there are so many defects with the Josefina mold specifically and this doll's wig in general. However, this doll's stunning. This doll, once you find a beautiful one, she really is a great American Girl doll. Do I consider her to be a beginner American Girl doll? Absolutely not. I would never steer you to get this doll as your first American Girl doll. And you want to know why? Her hair. This doll's hair, okay, is extremely curly. And a lot of people have wave, like labeled it wavy and that's just like incorrect. This doll has curls. If you really wanted to make them Nikki curls, they can easily become Nikki curls. It's just a way of you styling them. Some of the doll wigs come very, very heavily curly, like the ones that I have. I did reshape them, so I did go in with curlers and like do this, so that way they can have these wigs. But when it really comes down to it, this is a doll that is very much an intermediate doll. If you are someone that cares about the integrity of your American Girl doll's hair, you're not gonna wanna do hairstyles on this doll as frequently. She's definitely a doll that you're gonna wanna put clips in her hair. You can put braids in her hair, but they have to be kind of 
loose because if you leave anything in her hair for longer than a day, it will start to crimp and it will start to disrupt her curl pattern. And then you're gonna have to go through a lot of trial and tribulation to basically fix the mistakes that you made by leaving her hair in that long. I definitely do think she is a unique doll and she does look different from other American Girl dolls that American Girl has already produced. When it comes to her meat outfit, the one that you get when you get the doll. The meat outfit is stunning. I have it on my Kavi doll. It's great. You can utilize all the pieces to it. All the pieces in her meat outfit can be utilized for other outfits. So I definitely think it's a really versatile meat outfit. When it comes to her story, I personally, personal preference wise, I'm not a gymnast, I'm not a horse girly, so I personally would not be someone that vibes with that. However, if you are someone that's into horses or gymnastics, I definitely would go ahead and purchase her because her entire story is literally all about that. And last but not least, her collection, to me personally, is very lackluster. I look at her entire collection and I kind of am just like, eh, it's very lackluster, it's very subpar when it comes to the other girl of the years. If you're someone that's into gymnastics or you're into horseback riding, by all means, go ahead and purchase everything from her collection. You don't necessarily need to get everything in her collection, but as a girl of the year overall, I definitely would say that her collection isn't something that I'm like gravitating towards or itching or running to the American Girl store to get. So that is one of her downfalls. If you want to dress this doll outside of her American Girl clothes, it's very simple. She is also kind of like Kavi when it comes to her being able to be taken out of her... American Girl world and put into more modern clothing. I think it looks really, really great. This is my Lila. She is in the retired school outfit. I forgot what it's called. So my other Lila, I have her in this Icon Queen outfit from way back in the day when I was AG Salon stylist. And I have her in some sneakers and she definitely looks like she could be a teenager. There's a lot of TLC and care that you're gonna wanna put into this doll. She does have curly hair. So again, I would not recommend this as a beginner American Girl doll. So if you're looking for a present for someone that is into American Girl dolls and they're just starting out and they want their first one, do not grab her. Unless you do not care about her curls not lasting, they over time will just completely deflate and basically go straight. But if you are someone that is literally just displaying your American Girl dolls, this is a great doll to have because she will stand there and she will look great. Traveling with this doll, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I am planning on taking her to Disney in January, but to be completely honest, I'm a little nervous because I don't wanna mess up these curls. <laughs> so she definitely is a doll that probably would not travel well um, unless you put her hair in like ponytails, which again, pull out her hair. So yeah, Lila's got a few cons to her. I do think she's gorgeous. She's definitely what I would consider to be more of an intermediate collector doll. So yeah, just be very mindful of that. Now that I told you guys all the pros and cons in my personal opinion about these two dolls, if I was a child today, me knowing myself, I probably as a child would have picked Kavi, more so because of the fact that none of my original six looked like her whatsoever. And for me growing up, I was definitely a musical theater girly, so I would have been obsessed with this doll for sure. However, as an adult, if I wasn't able to get the American Girl dolls, upon release, I probably would have gotten Lila just because of the fact that she is at a much higher level in regards to like maintenance. And I would have just, I definitely for sure would have appreciated her a little bit more as a collector that doesn't really play with their American Girl dolls. But as a collector that does play with their American Girl dolls, I definitely still love the fact that my Kavi can get her hair played with and nothing will happen to her. But my Lila, I'm a little scared to play with her hair because it's just so darn pretty. Those are the two girl of the years. I know a lot of you guys are going back and forth about who to get. And hopefully this video helped you guys just about some key little things that maybe you want to consider before getting either one of them. When it really comes down to both of them, they're great American Girl dolls. Truthfully, give Kavi the time that she deserves for this holiday season. Lila will be here next year. She's not going anywhere. She's just getting started. Whereas Kavi, her year's ending and American Girl quite literally, I'm sure they've already done it. They literally took her off the website, has already forgotten about her. So if you are gravitating towards one or the other, wait until your birthday for her, if you have your birthday in the spring or summer of next year, and get Homegirl here for Christmas. But again, it's all just personal preference, and these are my personal opinions on both of these American Girl dolls. So I'm not the final say, you are. But hopefully some of those things definitely, definitely swayed you in one direction or the other, or you just heard me ramble for however long this video is going to be about these Girl of the Year dolls. All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this girl.
Get out of here, attention-seeking dolls. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the audio, the visuals, all of that, because I don't know what this camera is giving, so... Let me know what it's giving. Let's see if it's an upgrade. Let's see if it's a downgrade. Just let me know in the comments. I know you guys will be honest. I don't even know what it's even like focusing on. But anyway, all right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name is Chris. You guys can follow me on my Instagram, which is at the doll studio by Chris. Make sure you guys are following my TikTok, which is Chris American Girl. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure you guys go ahead, like this video, comment down below. Let me know what doll you're asking for for this holiday season. And I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.